What's good? It's Mr. Trill Talk No Pill Talk in here with Cadillac Wood Grain. What's good with you, man? Hey, what good, my boy? She a chillin', man. Hey, man, it's a long time coming, man. Hey, yeah. Man, so, man, for the people who don't know, man, let them know about you, who you is, and what you got going, man, and let them know what, what kind of dope-ass music you got, man. Hey, I'm gonna tell you like this, man. Hey, anything that got my name tied to it, it's gonna be fire. Swear to God. At the same time, shit, I just dropped a mixtape um, August 1st, 2020, Cadillac Woodgrain Music. And yeah, that bitch got, that bitch got some bangers on that bitch, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't got it, you need to go pick that bitch up. Amazon, goddamn iTunes, Apple Music, YouTube, wherever you find your, um, your favorite artists. Shit, go pull me up, I'm telling you. I'm fire, man. Anything I touch, man, turn to flames, man. I swear to God. <laughs> so, man, with, with you, you know, you from, you, you from Dallas, but you got East Texas roots, you know what I'm saying? So, man, um. Uh, Explain to people how they work like, you know, how they work like, uh... I mean, shit, like, I grew up in Dallas, like, around, like, Glendale. I grew up in Glendale when I was younger. And then, like, shit, we did a whole lot of moving when I was younger, too. So, like, shit, but I went to high school, then, like, to high school. You know what I'm saying? And, like, yeah, we lived out there in the air, too. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, shout out to my niggas in the air town. Like, the title, we holding this shit down. You already know. And shit, like... Just been moving around all the way through the cliff, you know what I'm saying? Cocker Hill, Count Wilson, goddamn Lead Bella, shit. Like, shit, I've been around this bitch, man. Say, hey, I'm in the deep, man. You can't miss me. You really can't miss me nowhere now, shit. I'm, I'm available everywhere now, pretty much. So, hey, fuck with the kid, man. Say, for real. <laughs> so, man, what, what's up with the new movement, man? Like, uh, you know, you used to go by another name. Back in the day, it was a little menace. Yeah, yeah, you know I, used to go, I used to go by Young Menace, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And at the same time, like, I elevated, like, when I got out the penitentiary, like, I elevated my mind, and, like, my mind frame just turned into a whole nother ultra ego, and, like, like, the Cadillac wood grain shit, man, it's like, it's that pimping, it's that finesse, it's the Texas at its finest, like, shit, like, it's some, it's some luxurious shit, you know what I'm saying, like, like, shit, when you listen to boss ass shit, when you, when you got a boss ass mind frame, like, you think of luxurious ass shit. And like Cadillac wood grain is just something like something so smooth and like so suave, devil now. Like you can't make this shit up that I do. No cap in this rap, I swear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no cap in this rap. Everything I spit is straight facts. Everything 100. If I ain't done it, I'm doing it or I didn't did it. God damn it. So fuck with me. I'm telling you. <laughs> so how you how you start out rapping? Like how did you how did you first get into rapping? Like what made you get into it? Man, like I, I ran across my um my player partner, Lil Ross. You know what I'm saying? He go by seven shots now. You know what I'm saying? What's up, seven shots? You know what I'm saying? And like, we really just built like a, we built like an empire. You feel me? Like shit, for me, rapping with Lil Ross, you know what I'm saying? And coming up with this 45 South Records camp, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in 45 South Records, like say, yeah, we been fired from, from knee high to a grasshopper, like shit. We came out, we were blazing, we were young and a bit, doing the shit that these niggas call themselves doing nowadays. So, I mean, shit, this ain't nothing new to me. You know what I'm saying? The camera, the lights, and all that type of shit, this shit ain't nothing new to me. I try to stay up under the radar. <laughs> so, what made you, uh, what made you get in, what made you get in the rap? Like, besides, like, I'm saying, like, what, what was your influences? Man, like, really, like, the people, like, that was riding, like, big rims and, had like all the money in the hood and like had all the women, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm saying like musically, like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like like eight by MJG, goddamn um Pimp C Bun, goddamn shit, like I came up on shit like that, like like that no limit, that no limit movement, cash money movement, all that shit, man. Say hey, and it just not turn me into a whole new artist, cause now I'm thinking different. I'm thinking different. And this shit just crazy, man, I think. So you know how like uh you know they say uh you know they got the mumble rap. How would you put yourself in like a category like when it comes to rap like 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 you could do it all or it's just yeah I'm pretty much universal when it comes to like styles and all that type of shit because that mumble rap like I can't mumble rap because I want you to feel what I'm saying. You feel me? Yeah. And like when I say this shit like for real like somebody somebody gotta feel me I know I ain't the only person that's feeling like this when I be rapping about this shit That's why I say it's no cap like shit I'm the truth you know what I'm saying salute me when you see me Yeah Yeah so uh, who are some of the other people you done work with man I know the cap the uh, first tape it didn't have no features on it 
Uh, you know what I'm saying? So this next one, who you, who, what are you, who are you got on this one? Um, like on this next, this next one, yeah. Kyle broke another scale volume one. I got Ro Tarantino on that bitch for sure. I got LD 300 on that bitch for sure. I got, um, Payday Jones, PMA, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga from D-Town, you know what I'm saying? I got him on that bitch. Um, um Cartier Trey, um, just a few names, just to name a few, but like shit, I don't really like, I don't really like doing features like right now, cause I want these people to feel what the fuck I'm doing, what the fuck I'm seeing. But I like features because like shit, I like music, I'm passionate about this shit, man. I can't make this up. Yeah, man, so the Super Bowl just passed, man. Uh, man, who you have your money on, man? Who you been with? Man, Dallas, Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, so I'm all in the D with it, shit. I'm in Tampa with a D town jersey on, man. So you, so you didn't have no pick for the um, game? Nah, right I, I just, I, that was just something to watch while I was on um, coming up with hot ass music for the world, yeah. not just for down the street, but for the world, man. Say, so, man, uh, with Tom Brady, he got he got a seven ring right there, man. They man, that boy, that boy ring go. They say he the goat. So do you do you will you say he the greatest? Shit, right now, yeah, 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 cause shit, I don't know nobody got seven rings in the NFL. Nah, that boy, that boy got some rings, man. That boy, shit, that boy missing a few, but shit, let him be in the league a couple more years, shit. He gonna have ten rings on this shit. I'm betting with Brady, man. Yeah. <laughs> Put your money on Brady. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> so, man, uh, with the coronavirus, man, how did that affect you, man? Like, uh, shit. For the social distancing and like, did it slow down your music process? Nah, that was probably like, that was that was peace and tranquility, like a bitch, cause shit, I was quarantined, still quarantined, shit, that shit feel good to get away and just be chilling by yourself and just listening to all kind of beats and see what you can come up with. I'm crafty about this motherfucking music, I be pulling phrases off my motherfucking ceiling sometimes. I be pulling words off my ceiling sometimes, man, it's like, this shit crazy, man. I can't make this up. <laughs> I mean, um, who in the like, who in the city right now that you fucking with, like, for their music, like in D town, like. Man, shit. R. I. P. My nigga Mo Three, man. That was my nigga, man. I, I like that nigga a lot. Like, shit. I like Yellow Bees a lot too, man. I'm yeah. fucking with Yellow Bees. I'm fucking with Lil Runny, uh, Lil Runny M. L. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, let me think. Let me think. Trap Boy Freddy. I damn shit. Out there D town shit, I'm with the D town yeah. movement. Like shit, yeah. that's just that's just how we came. That's just yeah. how we come. <laughs> yeah. So man, um, who who's your who's the like the main influence in Dallas rapping? Like when you was coming up, like who's who's influence? Shit. Like? Gator Main. Gator Main. Gator yeah. Main. Pookie. Lucci. Yeah. Um. Big Chief. Um. The DSR movement. Goddamn shit. You ever get a chance doing the music with them? Um. I did a song Big Chief. Yeah. I did some Big Chief, me some shots in Big Chief. Um, how, did, how did that come about? Um, shit, man, we was young, man, just coming up with music, like shit, this shit just natural to us, like, we just come up with this shit, and Lil Rouse was presenting me the song, and shit, he said, like, Big Chief, we gonna be on that bitch, like shit, I'm on that bitch too, shit. Yeah. I don't know if y'all know, um, Big E, Big E made the beat, the nigga that made the, um, I Can't Leave Drink Alone, yeah. the Zero song, yeah. yeah, he made that beat, so. And she, yeah, that bitch was on the 45 South. We are connected, we are respected out. Y'all go check that bitch out, y'all get a chance. Yeah, so man, uh, what, um, how, how does it feel like since you came from that kind of time when it was like CDs and stuff, man, and now with the streaming, how do you, how do you feel about that right there, man? Man, it's some, it's some shit a nigga gotta learn, bro. Like, like this technology shit, like, damn, it be so much shit a nigga can do, like, on this one whole ass phone, like, mm -hmm. shit. And, Great thing about it, like CDs was the hustle shit. Nigga used to love to get out on that motherfucking block and be able to present my CD to you and be like, shit, give me five dollars for that bitch. Oh, you ain't got five, give me three. Oh, you ain't got three, shit, fuck it, just take that bitch. I don't, shit, I ain't tripping about that shit. I get that bitch to you, shit. Just put that bitch in the dick, nigga. <laughs> for real. But hey, them CDs, like shit, I used to love hustling them hoes. Yeah. That's a grind, man. <laughs> yeah. So it's a different grind now with the... With yeah, the you got to know what the fuck you're doing. You fuck around and be into the, uh, into some whole nother shit like on your car. You be sent out more money than what you're trying to do. Yeah. Cash out and got a nigga bad in the yeah. <laughs> couple times like a bitch. But shit, it's all good though. We get money every day. Yeah, so what uh, what can they expect like from this new from this new tape? What's the difference from this one and the last one? Like, 
I feel Besides like, no features, like what's the what's the difference in this one? I feel like I feel like people hearing me now. People hearing me now and like I don't really just gotta rap as hard as I used to. Like she cause like I'm getting heard and like they know I ain't finna I ain't finna give y'all no bullshit. Y'all know that shit. I ain't finna present no bullshit to you. I don't give a fuck. No. Nope. If it is, it ain't come from me. You know what I'm saying? But like at the same time I feel like I'm I'm more on my shit now. And and yeah, I got I got money behind me too. And yeah, I got my money behind me. I I put the house on there. I put the house on me. <laughs> Bitch your song. <laughs> For real. So like um man like um uh, far as um like now man, you know how they say like now it's like rappers are targeted, man. You feel like that's true, man, that rappers are targeted? I mean like man, you know, like right now you got yeah, wide fair yeah, you just got out of jail, man. It's like y'all targeted shit. not not only by the police but by shit, just by that shit that shit hard oh, to cause like I mean shit, people know like you know how you living. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know you know what's on your conscience and you gotta look over your shoulder and all that type shit. She my best advice is to move smart, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she like she tread lightly. I play chess, not chuckles. Yeah. So like she that shit crazy. But that shit fucked up how the game is right now, but how you feel about the bloggers now, man? You know, like me being a blogger, I just always gotta get an opinion of how you she, feel about the bloggers. I love I love that shit. I love that shit. Like people asking like opinions and, and cause like I be wanting to know like like no smoke, like let me know. If my shit wet, nigga tell me my shit wet. Shit, I ain't gonna be mad at you, bro. Yeah. I, I get this shit like all the time, they'll be like, man, that bitch go hard. But like shit, the next four people be like, damn, that bitch wet. Yeah. Type shit. Like, I mean shit. But if my shit wet, let me know. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. That shit ain't gonna hurt my feelings cause shit crazy thing better. That bitch be wet, but then I bounce back, nigga, and I come back with a whole nother hard ass track. Nigga, I do this shit all the time. This shit natural to me. <laughs> shit so, man, crazy. Uh, with the game right now, man, who would be like a dream feature? Like right now on a song, like you get somebody alive mm -hmm. right now, a feature. Who who would you want to work with? Like a a feature and a producer. You can put, you can pick your own producer and your Ooh. own your own rapper. Who you want on there with you? Man, I go get um, crazy thing better. I I, I ain't for an underdog like like Rilo Rodriguez. I get that nigga on that bitch and Yo Gotti. Like man, so uh. What um what you feel about like um like the presidential situation right now, man? Like man, shit. You got Biden in on there, man. You you you, you support Biden or you support Trump or you just shit, don't support I'm, none I'm, of them? Man, say I ain't crazy thing better. I ain't no political ass dude, like for real. But like I feel like the Biden shit. You know what I'm saying? Like he can kind of make a better change for the better and not for the worse. Cause like she, we was headed down the path full of destruction, got down with Trump and she yeah. ain't no telling how bad this shit was finna get. You hear me? Like she, they didn't raid the goddamn capital, so she, goddamn it, shit, ain't nobody, <laughs> ain't nobody safe around this bitch. Yeah. Hey, everybody life in danger like a motherfucker. That shit crazy, man. Yeah. So, so like, uh, uh, you think you gonna so about the vaccine, man? You you'll take the corona vaccine, man? Man. Shit, I'm black, man. I'm scared of that shit. Black people tell me don't take that shit. I ain't taking that shit, man. Yeah, shit. Man. They be walking around and be looking like a zombie, like a bitch. So and like, these motherfuckers I already look like zombies, yeah. like a bitch anyway. Nah, I ain't taking no vaccine, man. Shit, I feel like I'm sick. Goddamn shit. I'm gonna thug it out. I'm quarantined. Goddamn yeah. 14 days, like yeah. a bitch. I'm chilling. Yeah. I don't need no vaccine. Shit, I ain't never had to take no goddamn vaccine. Shit, that shit crazy. Fuck that. Yeah. Okay, man. Well, uh, I always ask people one question, man, before I get out of here, man. Uh, that one question is, uh, if you could, uh, if you could tell all the kids, like all the youth, the people that's coming up right now, one thing that you know will stick with all of them from here on out, what would you, what would you, what would you tell them? Man, I tell them, stay focused, set goals, and know how to do your numbers. <laughs> I, I rather, yeah, you can do your ABC, but I rather you do your numbers too. Yeah. Do your numbers a whole lot more, cause you gon' need them in life. You know what I'm saying? And like, shit, if you ain't doing no numbers, then shit, you ain't doing shit.